take care of y'all for tomorrow morning. He's going to show you how to bake it better with blueberry muffins, right, Grant? Muffins, yeah. Today we're talking muffins or um, any baked good in general with fruit in it. Okay. Um, so come on down here and I want to show sure. you. These are a couple baked goods that were made with some fresh raspberries. Um, which, you know, is always a really great thing to do when raspberries are in season. Mm -hmm. But these muffins, if you look inside, don't look so awesome, right? No, the, the raspberries ha are, have lost their color yeah. and their texture. And they sink to the bottom. And they've sunk. And they right. sort of like have come apart and it makes the muffin a weird pink color. So let's move on from these muffins because we we're going to make some really great muffin. muffins. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some two tips for you today that will Wait, make... Wait, don't we hate this too or are we like We this? hate that. These are scones. Those don't look good either, right? These are scones. <laughs> Oh. oh, the fruit fell. What? Bad uh, scone. <laughs> please, please calm down. I guarantee you, this crew is going to eat every one of these muffins. Totally. Yes. We're going to put them in some ice cream or something. Somebody will eat those. Um, so, I have two tips for you today that will make um, baking with fresh fruit even better. Um, so, what I like to do, and we're going to make muffins today. We okay. don't mind mixing that up. That's just some dry ingredients. This muffin recipe is on the website. It is a blueberry muffin, but you can use any fruit, really. I'm going to add in the sugar. Here so light go. brown, regular sugar. Yeah, and then the dry ingredients, we have some oats in there, too, so they're a little bit healthier. They're oats, a good morning breakfast right? muffin. Oats um, and flour. And when I add the berries in, tip number one is I like to freeze them first. This no way, kidding. Yeah, this way they don't break huh. up when you add them into the batter. So Very you could, smart. Yeah, so you could stir that really vigorously and they won't burst. And then also I, you know, put a little bit of flour on them like this. This is going to prevent <clears> them from sinking to the bottom oh, of the muffin. Oh, to keep, right, to give yeah. them a placement in the muffin. Right, so then that way they'll be able to float on top. So freeze and then toss lightly with flour. Freeze them and toss them and a little bit of flour, right. And then... We've done this other tip on the show before, but it's a really good one. Whenever you measure your muffin batter into a muffin tin, use one of these scoops. Use your ice cream scoops, absolutely. That way so they, they all come out even. Yeah, they're the perfect size. Same every thing with cupcakes. Time. Yep. And with these muffins, with this particular um, recipe, there's a lot of baking powder in these, so I fill them all the way to the top. And gotcha. then that way, when they get into the oven, they're going to rise and give us a nice fluffy muffin top. And then I'm the going... The only good kind of muffin top, <laughs> every woman knows. This is the one time that you want to have a muffin, <laughs> a muffin top. top. And then we top them with a little bit of some crumb topping. You pop them in the oven, 350 for about uh, 30 minutes. Oh, and then wow. they Man, look like this. Aren't those great? Look. And then, let's open one up. And you can see the berries are all throughout there. They're nice and risen. Brought to you by LG. Life's not perfect, but it's good.